Hello and welcome to Organic Edible Garden. Summer's on our doorstep and now it's time to plant our dry loving Mediterranean herbs. We're also going to plant some lettuces in bowls. These not only make great gifts, but they're good to take away with you on your summer holidays. And finally, we're going to pick some of our spring crops which are ready to be eaten. Our dry loving herbs include things like sages, our thymes, oreganos, and even our rosemaries. Now all of these guys are Mediterranean herbs and different than the wet herbs, these guys thrive on dry bony soils that have good drainage. And also they don't need a lot of fertilizer in the soil. So in the center, we're gonna put our rosemary. This will be the tallest growing herb. We'll put some soil around it. The mix I'm using is a good potting mix. This has got great drainage and it contains pumice. So what we'll do is now, we can just put these herbs around. They're gonna spread out quite wide and will cover the whole area as the rosemary grows up. All of these guys thrive in full sun and the hotter it is, the better they taste. Now often I plant these guys as annuals in an area like ours where we get really wet winters and they get wet feet. They often succumb to a disease and just turn up the toes and die. So in a pot like this, I can actually put it under the eaves of the house during the winter. As long as it's in full sun, they'll keep on growing. Also plants like this, they'll end up flowering. And once they flower, they lose a bit of their taste. But the great things about the flowers is that they can also be edible and they attract all the beneficial insects. Now, unlike some of the other wet herbs that we put in during the winter, I'm not gonna give it any fertilizer at all. What we've got here will be enough. And even though they like dry conditions, I'm still gonna mulch the top of the bowl. This is for a few reasons. One, whatever moisture is in there will stay there. But two, if we do get a bit of rain, it can compact the soil. And if a bowl like this is too big, the great thing about these plants is they've got really shallow root systems. So even a smaller bowl like this, is great to put on your balcony and it'll grow really well during the summer months. I love growing lettuces in containers. They're really easy to grow and ideal for people that live in apartments or have small gardens or taking away on holiday. The other benefit is during winter time, I can position them in full sun. And then when the weather's like this and the sun comes out stronger, I'll put it in, in an area with more shade. I can position them by the back door. We can just pick them as I need them. And also in containers like this, it's easier to keep them away from the slugs and snails. Lettuces don't have a deep root system, so they can even be planted in small bowls like this. All you need is some good potting mix. Now, unlike our dry herbs, which we did before, these guys need a lot more food because they're green leafy vegetables. So in this, I'm gonna put some sheep pellets. These are good slow release form of nitrogen and will be used up as the lettuce grows. Now I'm gonna plant my lettuces. And in this case, I'm gonna plant some loose leaf lettuces. These are great because you can just pick them as you need them and it keeps going for about eight weeks. The great thing about loose leaf lettuces like these is they add texture and color to your salads. Now once that's in, I'm just gonna give them some of our fertilizer with the rock dust in just to make them super strong and nutrient dense. This can never burn the roots, so you can never put too much in. Now it needs a bit of mulch on top and a good water, and it's ready to go. In about two weeks, the lettuces will be this size and they're ready to start eating. Our short-term root crop bread, which we put in a while ago, has done really well and is now ready to harvest. The fennel's nice and plump and can be pulled out. We 
we'll just chop some of the other leaves off. The purple -head onions that we put in are still going to get bigger. We're going to start using them now as baby spring onions. The turnips we put in did really, really well, and they grow quickly, so they've already been eaten. The beetroot, however, is sized up nicely, and they're ready to eat now. We had two types. We had the cylindra, which grows above the soil like this, as a long beetroot, or we had the Detroit, which are round beetroots, and they're both ready to eat. And lastly, our zucchinis, which go ballistic at this time of year. The problem now is having to pick them every day. If we don't pick them constantly, they turn into marrows, and there's only so many things you can do with marrows. When they get a bit big like this, they're too big for use as zucchinis, but you can always grate them and make fritters, or check out a website for a great recipe of zucchini noodles.